What's good y'all? It's your boy Fee and we back with another video today. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that sub button and let's hop right in it. So yeah, something new. Something new to my channel. Something I've been waiting to play for a very, very, very long ass time. And not even just play but like record and I was meaning to get onto like recording this a long time ago, but in all honesty I just I just didn't know how to, you know, do this. So here we are, finally figured it out, and on top of that, we have huge, huge, ginormous things coming to the channel. Not to the channel, I'm dead, I'm sorry. I meant to, to this game. So for starters, as you can see on the very tip top, we have the introduction of the new banner coming soon. But we're not going to get into that right now, we're going to get into that a little bit later. But this, this right here... This is the meat and potatoes. We're going to talk about all this, break it down, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, as you can see on the top, we have the max level raised. Finally, something that everyone, I believe everyone has been waiting for for the longest because we've been sitting at, what, level 1000 for over two months now? And I think it's about that time to get a little boost, especially with these, these like, current new, new uh, events not only events but like new story missions and stuff that we have so a brand new master boost board will be unlocked raising characters max level from a thousand to one thousand five hundred hmm now i'm okay with that because i think the highest we fought story-wise was the thousand five hundred raditz i believe so i don't know my memory's kind of bad corresponding to the raise max level yada 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 as you can see right there, all pretty much all they could have just told us was we're gonna raise boost from a thousand to one thousand five hundred, and I would have been satisfied with that. So yeah, on to the next thing. EXP can be earned when using skip tickets. Now I'm pretty I'm I'm glad that that's a thing, but given the fact that we're gonna be able to have bonus battles f playable for unlimited times, as it says at the top, it's kind of useless for us to use skip tickets to get XP if it was friendship now that would be something completely different I'd be 100% with that but the XP thing eh, I'll take it but it's not really useful you know what I'm saying so there's that okay so the next thing is the max amount of equipment expanded now what that means is that we have 200 slots like in the game as of right now and they're gonna give us 50 more uh that's a good thing i guess if you if you hoard equipment and you don't know how to like sell it efficiently because there's a way that like the well the way that i do it well, i'll show you that in a late in a second but i i really don't have a lot of equipment as of now i might have like uh, let's just say like 10 more over 50 because I try to keep as least as possible because I'm just like eh, I'm so iffy when it comes to like organizing stuff But those who have like a lot of equipment and need more space for it, more equipment. There you go. You get 50 more extra slots and the last detail is oh, Adjustments to equipment details so I It says here the UI for equipment details will be adjusted so that equipment will with the same name but a different effect can be checked more easily and excessive equipment can be sold more efficiently oh okay I see now so they're gonna have like a checkbox for you to be able to sell multiple oh. I don't know it's kind of like the same but it just has a select thing here uh, I can't really say much about it I guess I'll just have to wait and see until the thing actually comes out but yeah that's that's all there is for the huge update coming soon. Honestly, can't wait for that. I've been playing this game since day one. As you can see, I think I'm on day 60. Not day, day one, like, you know, with the closed baby, because I don't have an Android, so it was kind of hard to do that. And I haven't jailbroken my phone, but that's, that's besides the point. Now, time for the new summon banner that we're going to get. And we were... We were told we were going to get this banner a long, a long time ago because we saw it in the V-Jump scans. And yes, as you can see, it's 17 and 18. And if I remember correctly, I think 17... Well, it says right here, but 7... They said something about 17 and Captain Ginyu. I don't know if I'm like... 
I don't know if I can remember easily, but I think because of 17 having his barrier, you would want to have Captain Ginyu on the same team. You don't have to have him, like it's not mandatory, but it'll be it will boost 17 more than anything if you do have him because Captain Ginyu. The thing with Captain Ginyu is that he can like give you a whole bunch of green cards, green green arts. So that will be very helpful to activate his barrier, which can nullify all enemy attacks. Key blast, strike blast. I think. I hope it's super, I can't say that it does that too, but I just honestly hope it's super. And yeah, that would be a perfect pair with, if you're running a 17 team, oh, dead. not a 17 team, but you know what I'm saying. And the second sparking unit that we're going to be getting will be Android 18, of course, and she's a melee type. Oh, I didn't remember that. So 17 is a defense type. I'm glad that they're telling us this now. Did they tell us that before? Like with the other ones? I don't know. I'll have to, I, don't, I don't remember. I believe that they did, but I don't know. So 18 is going to be a melee type, and 17 is going to be a defense. Which kind of throws me off because honestly, I was thinking that 17 would be a range. And, well, 18, 18, that makes sense. I could see her being a melee type given to what she did to Vegeta back in her arc. And the thing with uh, 18, it says drive your opponent into a corner with her elegant deadly dance skill. So we're going to be getting Deadly Dance over all the other skills that she has. Because from the be like when I first saw this this morning, this is like not my first, this is like I'm not new to seeing the screen, but when I first saw this, I thought, I thought the skills were going to be completely different. I knew 17 was going to have his barrier for the green, but I thought like the barrier thing was going to be something they both can use because, you know, they both do it in the show. And another thing is I thought that, um... 18 skill was gonna be that one skill that she uh, does uh, I honestly don't know the name but if you play fighters you know that skill she does where she teleports above you and then blasts you from the sky I think she did it her and 17 did it in the arc if I remember like in the future not the, like when they came to the past I mean the present but you know and then I thought 17 skill was gonna be his that green like Whip thing he does in Xenoverse, I really, I can't, I don't know the names, <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. And other than that, yeah, we get two sparkings, and then, I guess updates, I guess. And given this banner, Ultra Space Time 3, I'm surprised it's actually that. I thought it was going to be like, something unique, like the future in peril or something because you know when they dropped Frieza they gave him the advent of the advent of yada 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 for, and it was Frieza and I'm so salty because that's the only sparking unit that I, I literally have every single every almost every single sparking I don't have let's see I just don't have these three this kills me the most because I really wanted him so so bad but these two they're still here it's still you know it's nothing I can miss I can try to get these and another thing, it's not going to be like I'm going to, this isn't going to be like a, you know, a reaction to summons and all that stuff because that's boring. It's going to be straight tips and tricks, all that good information that you need to know and like helpful things with PvE, etc, etc, high rank matches. I'm currently rank 30 or 30, 38 or 39, one of those. I'm currently rank 38 or 39. Almost almost to being 50 and I, I know I said 38 39 almost being 50 But I'm planning on grinding PvP all day today to get not only for the trunks things But to get my rank up because I honestly rarely do raiding matches I do sometimes but like I just don't do it that much to the point where I want to you know Try to earn gain something from it, but I'm going to like start trying hard <laughs> Not really hard because I'm I, I don't suck. I'm a veteran. I'm gonna let you know that now see level 53. That's Hard work, dedication, sweat, blood, tears, everything went into that. So, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I was going to go over my... See, I have 57 um, equipment equipments right now. This I'm going to sell right now because I really don't need it. The only thing... Now, the way I do it is... If it has an orange... If I see an orange or anything, that's an automatic keep. I don't care. And... The ones that say equipped on it, this is how I this is how I usually do it. I keep all my oranges regardless. Unless it's like, you know, multiple duplicates. Like I don't keep more than three of the same the same units. It's the same equipments pretty much. 
And the reason for that being is because I don't like a lot of clutter. So I get my teams ready. And I'll show you my teams really quickly, but I'm not going to go over them because it's like I really want to get, get deep into it. But see, I have, you know, the basic meta, you know, that, 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 and I think that's all. Well, this is just for like, these other two are just like permissions and shit. But like, what I do is I usually get my, uh, I get my teams, you know, I have them all set up, and then I use my equipment, and you see where it says equip? If it says equipped, I just sell everything that's not, that doesn't have that, or if it's not orange, or if it's gonna be, if it's for a unit that I'm, I'm never gonna use, except for like, uh, this one, for example. Yeah, see, it's for Chiatsu, so I'm gonna, I'm obviously gonna use Chiatsu because EXs are low-key OP. Some of the EXs are, majority, no, not majority. A lot of the EXs are honestly way stronger than some Sparkings, and I'll have a, I'll have, like, more information about that on another video, but this is pretty much just, like, you know, I just wanted to drop to something a little bit short, go over the updates and all that stuff, and I honestly have, like, big plans on this this game in particular because I, I play this game a lot. I never thought I'd ever be so deeply immersed in a mobile game like I have with this one, but I honestly, I, I love this game. Like, this game's so lit. But that's going to be the end of today's video. Um, Like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And it'll help me a lot. And if you like the content and if you want to see more, then just leave a like. Uh, I think I don't have, like, no like goal for this or anything. I really don't have a like goal at all. But, um, yeah, I think that's going to be all. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. Stay groovy. And I'm out. Peace.